previously on Yaxa 3 Remastered. Hey, it's with me. All right. Let's hold it. Let's hold hand, hands, Dante. No, don't touch me. Come on. All right. I'm going to give you a little confidence boost. Just hold my hand. No, don't make it weird. You're my new Ricky, Dante. I knew you before Ricky did it. He should have been your new Dante. I thought we had something, Kiryu. Show up and propose to me, damn it. Give me the right. And now back to Yaxa. Hey, Nico. Yeah? What's that? What's what? Tiger drop. Come on, you Perry. <laughs> oh. Nani? I appreciate your teachings, Kiryu-san. But now, I'm the master. Dragon King Essence! <laughs> Arigato, Kazamasta, Kiryu-chan. Hello! Sneako B! Back with some more Yaxa 3 Remastered. When we last left off, we did it, guys. We freaking did it. We can play the eight bajillion sub-stories in this game, and we battle with Joe Moan. And you know what? He wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> it was not that bad, and I didn't even need to cheese him or anything. It's about having this insane fucking item. This insane freaking item that allows me to just heat action endlessly. Yeah, he actually wasn't... He wasn't too bad. Like, he still had some of these same ammonisms that a lot of other ones have had, where... Like, he could stun you really easily and, like, juggle you around. But the thing is, he didn't do, like, a ton of damage to me. Um, and weirdly enough, I also noticed he didn't actually have, like, an aura around him at all. Like, at no point in the fight does he actually get, like, a big glowing aura about him. He just kind of stays the, the same. Um, and in fact, I thought it actually got easier towards the end when he started to physically attack you with the guns. Because that actually allowed me to tiger drop him. But, like... In the grand scheme of things, I would definitely say he was one of the easier ones. I would say, I think Kwame 1 and 0 were still the harder ones. And Kwame 2's, I think, was pretty easy as well. I think I think that one might have been the easiest one, if I remember correctly. That one or Judgment. I, well, Judgment's had a bit of a gimmick to it, though. I do remember that one. Uh, it was kind of a cool gimmick, too. But it, I don't know if it, it was necessarily super hard. Um, but it was, you know, an interesting gimmick that we hadn't seen before. Yeah, I mean, overall, it was it was fine. I, I just, I was shocked. Maybe it was also partially because the game, like, sort of has regular enemies already being so much more annoying than, you know, other games in the series where, you know, they're not always blocking everything in other games. This game, fuck, dude. Random no-name motherfucker down the street here. He'll block a good 80% of your attacks and not give two shits about it. It's actually interesting, too, because even the, the life bars in this game clearly reflect this, right? Like, Amon by far had the most health of anybody, right? But up to this point, I don't know if we've even seen anything beyond, like, a yellow or a green bar, which I think green comes after yellow. And then I think Amon had, like, five health bars? maybe six but like yeah in the other games you see like even the main story bosses eventually get like a fuck ton of health bars and i think it's just the idea they sort of shifted their thinking from all right we're not gonna have everyone block as much as before but we're gonna give them more health but we're also we're also gonna change your attack so you're not literally doing dick to bosses and uh you know, harder enemies and that's the other thing about this that really kind of makes the fighting so annoying is that you're your attacks only do full power on the scrub enemies and on bosses and stuff it's like negligible you know i think i, I swear to god you do maybe like half to a quarter of the damage that you would normally do uh to bosses it's like god you feel so much weaker um but yeah it was not that bad surprisingly so what if he blocks my attacks i've been having to deal with that shit this whole game i'm so used to now tiger dropping everybody instead of just trying to punch him with a regular combo and now i've got the fucking ultimate gun that's right the golden gun this insanely buff crazy gun that will just mow down everybody and i'm totally not gonna use for the fucking final boss all right don't worry but i will say if, I, if they end up throwing a shit ton of enemies at me again i might use it there all right I might use it because at this point I have fought so many waves of enemies. All right. Like seriously, I feel like so many of the fucking bosses and the side stories, the tournaments, dude, I've just, I've dealt so much of like, here's this random group of guys deal with Kiryu. It's like, I'm just kind of tired of it. Okay. They block too much and they're fucking annoying. All right. I'll, I'll be, I'll be a good boy for the boss and put up a, a nice fun fight. But these fucking scrub lords, fuck them, dude. They, I'm going to shoot him in the face with my golden bullets. <laughs> uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Rex TB said, uh, the entire Yaxa series is just a really long and really drawn out Amon everywhere system. 
you know, when I read first first comment, I, like, it sort of gave me, like, a little chuckle, but then I really thought about it, and then I started really laughing, so I was like, oh my god, it's kind of actually amazing. This, <laughs> you're right, because every game, you're just, you're doing the sub-stories, but you're, you know, the sub-stories are fun, but it's also that end goal. I get all of them. I get to fight the super boss, Joe Lamone. <laughs> I'm not running to him as often as I do, did Majima and Kiwami 1, but, uh... You're still, he's still there. You're still aware and you're still trying to get to him and try to beat him up. The ultimate goal of every Yakuza game. No, it's not the main story or the final bosses or the characters we meet along the way. No, it's fucking beating up Joe Moat. That's the real goal of every game. I should probably end this let's play right now. So Rex TV, thank you so much for your hilarious and incredibly accurate comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. But yeah, I think um we've I mean we've pretty much done all the completion stuff except for the mini games, but like I said, fuck that. Although funny, I actually did just for funsies to do the shooting one. The one where you uh it's like the arcade one one arcade game in this game where it's like a side scrolling shooter shoot em up which apparently is actually this is completely original it was not in any like other games or it was ever like its own thing boxelios it seems to be something that only exists here it's actually pretty fun once you sort of figure out like i it took me a while to even see what i was supposed to be shooting at but there's like these like light blue like spots on each of the ships you're trying to shoot and they tend to be in like the top or the front of the ship and you got to kind of angle your ship in the right way to get through as quickly as possible and I actually managed to do it though it was pretty hard like getting to level 50 was surprisingly difficult and actually once you break level 50 funnily enough the game will actually loop back around again so you go back to level one and it just repeats itself endlessly so it was kind of it was kind of interesting but yeah oh my god i can't even imagine trying to complete all this shit. I mean, they have the shit I mean, discover, but a lot of it's just gonna be like koi koi and fucking blackjack and poker and bullshit like that. But like the fact that the pool physics don't work well, darts is kind of a similar way that I sort of figured out a way to make that kind of work. Going in fishing. Oh, oh, I, oh my God, guys. I, I was just curious because I was like, what is the UFO catcher like in this game? It's fucking awful. And you have to catch every prize in there to complete this are you insane look how many there are i couldn't even get one i couldn't even get one of these fat fucks picked up by the stupid claw i'm like oh my god i don't know if the physics were jacked up as well i wouldn't be surprised but to be honest it almost was like seemed like i don't even know how this thing's supposed to get it they're so fat and big and the there's like nothing for it to grip onto like it's a big smooth surface and it just every time it just fall right off and i'm like i just look at this this would be do you have any idea of how horrible it would be trying to complete that not to mention everything else it's like every every i swear to god every yak is a game the the trophies that are uh the least acquired like the ones that no one ever manages to complete are the fucking mini game ones right and of course you know the platinum and shit but it's always like like there's always like that one trophy in every game that's like assuming it's not like a really easy game to platinum right like there's like this one trophy that everyone fucking hates and i think in all the yakuza games it's always the mini games and i think in this one is probably one of the worst just with how fucked up some of these mini games are and rng and bullshit man it's just like oh that's why i like as much as i like completing some of this stuff and can't find it sort of relaxing i would lose my mind trying to complete some of the shit in this game you know i pity the fool who tries to do that and also some of the even though some of the trophies are kind of rough too if i remember correctly it's like there's stuff that like is really specific oh there's like yeah you have to beat the game in a heart the the legendary difficulty which means you gotta play through the whole game again uh play all all rounds in an ultimate match which i think is something unlocked after look at this 1.8 players have done this shit yeah after beating the game i don't know what the fuck that is but it's like jesus christ i mean i guess this game's pa still packed full of content but it's like oh my god man you should by the end of each yak is a game i'm still like you know like all right i need a little bit of a break from the yakuza series games but yeah i think more than likely this is probably going to be the last episode as we've sort of done everything and all that's really left is some story segments so unless this next part is insanely long um this will probably be it so um and i will say as much as the the main story has been a bit disjointed and at times uh uh incredibly exposition heavy um i still have found it uh, engaging and i do really want to see what it uh what this is gonna lead to so what, what are we doing again we have to go to daigo at tudo hospital i'll save him the cell score with mine once and for all i've got oh wait okay i'm good right i mean i got my gun i'm not gonna use it unless i fight waves of and waves of enemies which i probably will i got some healing items i've got this which i'm again not gonna use unless for some goddamn reason, Mine ends up being like 30 billion times harder than Amon, but I don't see that happening. 
Uh, I think we're good to go. It's time at last. The time has come and so have I to save Daigo. Wait, Daigo's already dead. <laughs> Spent too much time doing the 119 sub stories. I find Mine to be interesting though, because like clearly he still has a fair amount of reverence for Daigo, right? It's sort of interesting, like he's stuck within this, I don't know, questioning if he should be doing this, like essentially abdicating his position in a lot of ways. Maybe he feels like he needs to. Oh God, here they come, the waves of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how choreographed that was. You're all just like waiting for that shit? For me to walk in the door so you can all do that? The Akuho! So this is the remnants of that other guy's group, right? The guy we didn't see very much of? Akuho! So everyone's furrowed brows. I get to die. All right. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to make this fast. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I'm, I've just, I've had so, I've just kind of had it up to here with this. Okay. Make a piece of info about Daigo out of these guys. Really? Or I could just do this. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This is so satisfying. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god! He's the literal god! Ah! Remember, Kiri never killed anybody. Hey, what's up, guys? Ah, 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 ah. Headshot! 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 Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, don't tell me where Daigo is. Oh shit, they're all dead. <laughs> you know what? That was. <laughs> You know, I, I know some of you might feel like that was incredibly underwhelming, but that one to me was just pure karmic release. <laughs> Seriously, that was the most satisfying shit I've done this entire game. <laughs> oh my God. It felt so good. It was hilarious. Uh, I don't know anything. Our captain tells us to come down here and beat your ass. I was just following orders. Your captain. Mm. Uh, hey, get back here. So the captain. That random guy? Oh, I've got the Kaioken going right out. Defeat the captain. That's right. Bow to me. Wait. This looks cool. I'm going to take this. Hey, look what I can do. Scott. Wait. Bell. Hey. There's my heat action. How about down on the floor now? Damn it. I can't do it on the stairs, apparently. Aha. Eat this. All right. <laughs> Hold on to this for a second. Bang, bang. Boom, 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 boom. Headshot, headshot. This is amazing. Why is this glowing? Why are you... Oh, shit, that's cool. <laughs> Kiryu, Kiryu doesn't, doesn't open the lockers. No, I'm just going to push this shit open. You're telling me that was an option? Why have I spent all this time getting locker keys when I can just do this? Silly Kiryu. Huh, huh, huh. Huh, okay. All right. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, hold this. Hold this. Hold this. The hell? There we go. Jesus. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, hey. <laughs> Stupid fucking sofa dudes. Damn it. Damn these, these little medias. I just can't. I just can't get past that little, that little rope. I gotta go this way. Ah! I hear them yelling, ready to fuck me up. I'm the man with the golden gun, don't you know? Headshot, headshot. Hey guys, remember that time the carrier just busted into somebody's fucking residence with a golden gun and straight murdered everybody? Neither does carry you. I'm gonna forget about all this shit later. I never even killed anybody, okay? It's a real big deal, hey. Oh man, I gotta punch this shit. Ugh. 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 Hey, what's up? Damn, you're a chunky guy. Ah, hacks. I call hacks. Fuck you, all right? This is payback for all the fucking blocking horseshit you've done to me this entire game. I think I'm not sick of this shit by now. Hello. Oh, please spare me. Ah. No. No mercy to any of you. I see you, sofa man, who twitches every time I shoot him. He's like, no, oh, no. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to move from my spot. 
Mean they told me not to do for my style. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The thing too is with the the gun, every kill I kill I get, it just gives me more heat. So it's just like I'm in constant heat mode. Though uh, weirdly enough, I don't think there's actually a uh, heat action for your gun. Holy shit! Oh, there's the captain right there. He's just gonna hang back. Dude, you wanna wanna do something? Now, see, look, I'm not actually doing as much damage like I was the other one. But on the bright side, I've got infinite ammo, and I'm slowly him, slowly pushing him out that window. Wait, hold on, sorry. Might be something good in here. Uh, X as ah, fine. 360 no scope. Ah! You just fought through a whole fucking army. Yeah. Thanks, guns. For a go talk, or do you need a little more convincing? Up top, up top. He's on the 20th floor in the other building. Room 25 You have to go through at least 2,000 more guys. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Jeremy Mine should be up there with him. 25th floor. I need to get moving. Oh, now, see, I'm not, I'm not going to feel bad about this because you guys got guns, too. They're like, holy shit, he's got a way better gun. Damn right I do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All the way across the room. Yeah, baby. Don't mind me. It's going to walk through that chair. Hello. Goodbye. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uzis. Hey, oh, they're dead. <laughs> All right, you guys cannot tell me I have not earned this by this point, right? Please. Do you have any idea how many hours I spent grinding in the fucking Coliseum? The fucking shit I had to go through. All the stuff that I cut out of these videos. Even though some of the videos were still like two hours long, like last episode. Get out of my way, you dumb beds. Ha! I think this is uh, giving him cover here. Oh, there's a guy over there. Sorry, I didn't even see you. Oh, hello, you too. I'm gonna just, uh, whoop, and, whoop, and, whoop. uh, more okay, whatever. It's fine. I'm doing it. I think I, think I don't, I think I don't need more healing shit. Ah, curses, waste high cover, giving you all <laughs> amazing defense. Ah, 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 there we go. Ah, ah, ah. Gotta work on my golden guns melee attacks. Ah, uh, wait, where am I going? Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna stop on the floors and have dudes show up? I hope so. Oh, that's right, I can pull a cigarette out. Got it! Wait, hold on. Let me smoke a cigarette real quick. Uh. Ow! Wait, let me do the thing. Ah. Uh, shit! You fuckers, you fuck up everything. What do one cool thing? You guys gotta screw it up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, kicking men. So much kicking. Kicking is my fucking worst enemy in this game. Yeah! Blech. Coming at ya! That's probably one of the best new heat actions I've seen in this game. Ah, fuck this. I was pitying you. I was gonna spare your life. But no, no mercy to anyone. Look like at this thing glows in my hand. Oh shit! Oh god! No! I'm very ticklish! No! Stop it! Stop it! Ah! Ready to go. Here you go. Oh, it's potty finished. Ha! Ah, yeah. I'm cool. Da. Pa pow pow. Top floor. Bam. Go to Daigo's hospital room. It has to be at the end of this long hallway full of dudes. Well, maybe not. No? No longer hallway full of dudes? Did I beat all of them at this point? No, no way. There's too much breakable shit in here. I don't believe it. Look at this. Why is this thing still... Ah, my gullet bullets can't break it. Oh. What's the point of this shit, though? Oh, this drops item. What? What the hell's a torrent doing in the fucking partition? Let's go. 
Wait. What? Which room is that? Oh, this one. I can't read Japanese. Oh, God. The ultimate kicking man. That really does look like he's part of the Amon clan. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I cannot forget this. Looks like you're a little late. Oh! You just missed him. An actual English voice actor! Whoa, this is weird. If I'd known it would have come to this, I'd have killed you when first we met. I don't know what you're saying. If you're looking for Daigo, Mine's taken him up to the roof. The roof? The roof? Oh, I see that. I mean, this isn't a Japanese man doing an English... Doing an English accent. He's doing a pretty good job, actually. You're welcome to try. Nah, this is the end of the line for you, Kazuma Kidyu. Kitty. <laughs> I think no, I think it was an American actor. That definitely sounded like one. Oh god, it's kicking man. Alright, I'm not using my gun on him, don't worry. I am kinda curious though. Yes! Oh my god. I okay. If I think this might be the same stupid move I saw in the arena a million times that I got really good at tiger dropping. We'll see if I can do it. Yeah, motherfucker! Get up. Get your fat ass up. I've been training for this bullshit. Ah! Ah! Get up. Get up. What's wrong, huh? What's wrong? Well, you're kicking out working out as well for you? Come on, get up. Come on, I'm right here. Oh, you almost had me that time. You almost had me. I mean, I could kill you right now, but what's the fun in that? Come on. All those hours. Hours, I said. Spent. The Coliseum! They were all for this. I'm not holding back. Full power. Finally can defeat Kicking Man. Watch it for all. Your reign of terror ends here. I'm going to start the arms, even though you never use them. Only kicking. So much kicking. In the face. Give me that level up. Well, that was cool. <laughs> it was. And it kind of made me realize, it's like, oh shit, that fucking annoying kicking move that I couldn't do dick about because I didn't have Tiger Drop and I hadn't really experienced it before. I fought so much in the arena. It was, and actually, that was actually the move I was like, I was actually looking forward to enemies using it because I could reliably Tiger Drop it every time. Uh, all right. So what do I want again? Fully charge your, your energy with the Spear of the Golden Dragon. So I can actually like literally just power up. That sounds kind of dope. Order us want some health. I'm gonna do this one. I just wanna see this shit, man. I mean, technically, I've already got the, the Lotus Clan move, right? So I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be the best thing, but I have to do R2 next close to an enemy. So, uh, okay. Can't be just doing it out here. Just power for no reason. What would, pe what would people think? Minion Tiger on the roof. I gotta hurry. Oh, shit. Damn it. When are we gonna learn to kill these assholes? Oh crap, he's gonna, he's gonna, it turns out he's actually really good at punching too. And that's how he's gonna beat me. <laughs> I swear to God, if you shoot Rikia number two that I just became friends with in the last like two episodes off screen, I'm gonna be really pissed. Oh my God. All right. Oh my God, it's getting intense. Gonna power up. I'm going! I'm going Super Saiyan! This is absolutely Dragon Ball inspired, you know it! Oh my god, it really is. It's actually it's basically like an easier to do Lotus Punch one. Because the amount of the Lotus Clan punches that I actually had to 
uh, get to a certain point, right? Like, in the, the first moments, you're vulnerable. It took, it took a little bit before you actually got the armor for the move to kick in. Damn, that's pretty dope, actually. Let's go. Ah. Take this, low poly SWAT guys. Oh shit, they're still alive. Yeah, yeah. Eat this. Oh fuck. Oh, wow, it didn't even shatter. Cool. All right. Aha. Wow, still didn't break. Oh god. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit of pain. So you know, this is my gun, and it's a little bit better than yours. Oh shit, he's still alive. You have stuck up on me there. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and slurpity derp this. Man, still got a lot of levels though to make up to, to get the remaining skills. I don't know if I'm gonna actually get max level on this game. Which should be a first. Usually these Yakuza games, I actually get like, I think I hit max level like well before I get to the final boss. Hey, hey! uh oh. Oh shit, he's back and now he actually has a gun. No more kicking for me. All right, fine. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's go, Virgil. No, I'm not. We're going to do this. Uh, you're going to fight me with a gun, but I'll fight you with my fist. Oh, God, he's got a shotgun, too. No, -uh, no. You stop that. That's my gun. I'm going to use this gun instead. Damn, this thing's got a lot of bullets. Ow. Damn, it's music, dude. Get him all! This guy's got a fair amount of health now. Damn it. I won't be able to tagger drop him like this. Yeah. Ha! Ha! I don't know if I can actually parry guns. I don't know. That's, that's kind of one thing I've never really been totally certain about. I'm kind of thinking not. I think I can parry that front flip. I think that's what I actually used to parry uh, a moan. Ow. Ha, I'm going to kick the plane at you. Damn, this music is fucking badass. Ugh. Ah, I'm, still using, I'm gonna still use tables on you. Hope you don't mind. That whiffed somehow. Oh god, oh god, he's doing that move. Ah, oh, wall bang. Damn, that was a cool uh, wake up. Ah. That's the shit. Guy used to doing that shit in the, the Coliseum as well. A lot of wall bangs. No! That's a no-no! I like how I knock his shotgun away and just grabs another shotgun. <laughs> ah! Oh, damn, it's got toughness and affinity. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm fucking this guy up now. Ah! Give me that gun. Oh my god, we're doing some gun kata. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh! Bitch, I'm so pissed I missed that. No! Oh, bitch, can you do it again, please? Oh, I promised some cool shit, man. I just got shot in the face like an asshole. Why don't I hit triangle instead of X? Damn it. I was so entranced by the gun kata. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, here we go. I, I, this is, I, I don't know if this is going to kill him, Kiryu, but okay, sure. Uh, 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 okay. Let's do this again. Maybe this time I'll keep you down. I do not think this is going to kill him, Kiryu. Ah, nope. Silly me. No, seriously, can we do that cutscene again? Yes! Yes! Thank you! 
Thank you! Yeah. X! Yeah! Dodge the bullets! Yes! Woo! 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 Yeah! Thank you! Come on! Go on! Come on! Thank you! This made up for all the annoying kicks you gave me. Now I can kill you. And regret nothing. Ah! Okay, I think he's down for the count this time. Yeah, his body vanished. I think he's, yeah, he's done. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad he did it again. Thank God. All right, I better heal up because uh, this guy's ain't fucking around. All right, going up. I didn't have to push any bugs. The elevator just knows where I need to go. Nani? Nani? Seriously, what is up with you guys and your textures? Like, so they don't look like they didn't upgrade any, update any of this shit. Textures and these guys look fucking weird. All right, I'm done with you, all right? Just got through your boss, okay? It's enough. Stop it. Stop it. Stop going out the hole in the ceiling. All right, we done? We all good? It's a long elevator, man. Damn, we just like rolled him up here. Can't have a shirtless fight in a closed claustrophobic space. No, it's gotta be nice and open. Mine. Mine. Yapari kite kuremashita ka. Sasuga desu. Ureshii desu yo, Kiryu san. Nani o itte runda? Omae. Daigo o dou suru tsumori da? Omae Daigo o koroshite. Tojou kai no atome ni tsuku tsumori nan da ro. Hmm. Atome ka.本当はそんなもんどうでもよかったんですがね。こんなことになっちまうとは。こんなことだと。何を言ってるんだ。キリュさん。俺はね。大吾さん。いや。六代目のこと。本当に心配していたんですよ。何。いや、what?この人は俺
いくらたくさんの人間が周りにいてもみんないつか自分の都合で勝手に離れていくそんな様子を見続けながら俺は悩んだ人間の絆なんてものはこの世にないものなのかとそんな時俺は絶対的な人間の絆があると言われる世界の存在を知ったそれが極道だったというわけかそうです俺はそこに絶対的な絆というものが本当にあるのか知りたかっただから簡単に金を渡しあの有名な登場会の門をくぐったんですそこで知り合ったのがこのダイゴさんでしたダイゴさんは極道として経験のない俺をいや中身のない人間だった俺を普通に迎え入れてくれた年も俺と変わらないだけど人の上に立つ男のカリスマがこの人にはあった俺はかけねなしに初めて人を好きになることができたんですそれならどうしてこんな真似を俺はね桐生さん今回の一件もし大悟さんが生きていたら無条件に手を引いてたんですよ何じゃあどうしてだが大悟さんは死んだも同然俺は虚しかった目標になる人間を失った以上次の生きがいが俺は欲しかったそして心に決めた嘘だろうが何だろうが誰にも文句を言わせないほどの力を得てやろうとそれでブラックマンデーに協力をそうです何を言ってるんだそれに大悟はまだ生きているだろうこんなチューブをつけて生かされているのは人間じゃないやめろミネ俺にとっての大悟さんはこんな姿をした人じゃない。Is he like in a coma? こんな大悟さん。俺はこれ以上見たくないんですよ。Is Gaga not gonna be able to wake up anymore? ミネお前何か思い違いしてんじゃねえのか人間しがみついてでも這いつくばってでも。生きることに価値があるんだわかるか大悟はまだ必死に生きようとしているそんな人間をお前は自らの手で殺すというのか<笑>まさにあんたの言いそうなセリフだなんだと大悟さんもあんたのそういうところに惚れていたんだろう俺はねあんたみたいな義理人情だけで生きてきたみたいなやつが大嫌いなんだよなんであんたはそうなんだあんたも俺と同じ孤児だろうがなのにどうしてそんなことが言えるんだよ今俺がやるべきことは二つ俺の目標だった大悟さんを俺の手で最後の幕引きをして大悟さんが大切にしていたあんたを殺すそして俺は登場界のトップに立ち新たな生きがいをそんなことをして何になるんだ何お前は何にも分かってないお前の周りから人が去っていく理由俺にはよく分かるぜあんたが何を知ってるって言うんだお前から去っていった人間が今でも恨めしいかあああんな金をたかることしか頭のない血も涙もない連中今ここにいたらぶっ殺してやりてえよだったら何なんだお前も同じだぜお前もその連中も金に振り回され人間そのものと向き合うことをしなかったんだお前は自分しか信じちゃいない自分以外の人間を心から信じれないだから人から愛されないんだ
誰お前を迎え入れた時大悟は人としてお前を信じたはずだだからお前も大悟のこと黙れ何をする気だお前みたいな人間には口で説明しても伝わらないだったら俺が俺なりのやり方でお前に教えてやる<笑>やっぱりあんたって人はこんな時でさえ何にも変わらないいいでしょ気持ちだけで人間どこまでやれるのか教えられるもんなら俺に教えてくださいよ Show me the golden dragon. Took him as a girl. Equal Anta, or real toast, no, a cantan janidis. Let's go. Hiryu san, Orega Anata no Saigo no Tatagaidis. Dance, cuz boy, I'll kill you. You are an act of my end of a shin. とことんやってやるぜ行くぞヒリアーおっしゃよしたかみねチェルのほうあくわがおっしゃレッツゴーおっミュージックスコーンでんいつのイントロミュージック Come on, get up. So you got. It's not a good time to have a smoke here. Uh, hold that for me. Oh, Mises is going the fuck in. Oh shit, it's glow. It's got like a yellowish aura. Yellowish, brownish aura. Oh god. Damn, got it early too. Oh, his actually went away as well. Ah. Oh shit, it's getting darker. Start yellow, now it's getting more intense. Let's turn orange. Oh shit, oh shit. Focus. Kick. Woo! Oh my god, it's so dope! My head butt your fucking fist. Let's go. Come on. It's blue now. What in the hell is going on with it? Uh oh. <laughs> Shit, what is he doing? Yo, wait, is he healing himself? What happened? I wasn't looking at his health bar there. Maybe he was. Oh, now it's back to being yellow again. So it got, went from yellow to this orange color to blue. And then when it got blue, he used to, he used to heal himself? I thought I was going to do some super attack or something. Oh, did you do what I did? Where I could turn my my aura into health? Which actually, I, I have that ability now. Once again, like, lo, lo, get low down in, uh, uh, in health, which I might get to in a second here because it's beating my ass. Oh god. Oh god. So check this out. Look what I can do. Power of healing. Ah. It only does a, only does a little bit though. Come on. Oh, guarding. 
Or is it maybe determining what his style's gonna be? Oh, it is. It's healing. Interesting. He actually uses his heat. Once he gets to the blue stat status, he can actually use it to heal himself. Come here. Ah, fuck your stupid healing bullshit. Oh, I can actually fucking Kamaki parry it. That's amazing. Ah, fuck your shit, asshole. Ah. Got the full power, full extent of your power. Ah. Ah. Screw this. I've had to hear with this. Dragon. Since now, I'll show you my ultimate power, Hell's Gauntlet. Finish it. What? Oh. I was like, is he dead? I didn't get any experience. Mother. Mother, what did it? Aw, you want to end it with a hug? Give me that experience. The end of ambition. Damn, that was awesome. That was a great fight. I liked his, uh, sort of... His gimmick with his heat... His, with, with his heat there. I think the heat might have affected his, his types of attacks, too. It's like different styles, maybe? He thought he had something with her, but then he was like, nope. なぜかな。なんか吹っ切れたみたいに穏やかな気分だ。全てが終わる時ってのは。こんな気分なのかな。いや。人間生きてりゃ終わりなんてない。いつだってやり直せるんだ。
Oh, hey, what's up? Kinda forgot about you guys. Uh, oh. They're Black Monday all along! Gotcha. あの男がそう。アンドレ・リチャードソンだ。あいつか。I'm afraid your role in all of this has come to an end. <laughs> I can't understand what they're saying. We're not going to kill you. We're not going to kill you. We're not going to kill you. We're going to kill you. We're going to kill you. We're going to Oh, there are plenty of people who could replace you. And unfortunately, you both know far too much for me to let either live. Dude, hearing English in a Yoxi game is freaking me out. Die. Die. Scum. What? Oh my god, what the fuck, Daga? Where'd you get a gun? Oh, he grabbed the gun that was on the ground, right. You think, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yep. He did. God damn, Daigo! That's how you wake up from a coma, motherfucker. Die, Black Monday. Daigo. Okay, take the gun away from the other guy. By the way, let's not make another mistake. This is fine. This is normal for me. Mine。Mine。お前。どうしたんだ。大丈夫か。危なかったな。だが。もう大丈夫だ。<laughs> oh God. He lives. I won't let it end like this. I'll kill you all. Oh God! Meet it up! Stop! Stop! Kaijo, sorry, I didn't mean it. Meet it! What are you doing? What are you doing? Go back! Go back! Now, for me, I don't have any choice. Oh, come on, dude. You're pretty cool. Don't go out yet. Stop it. Are you nuts? Are you nuts? Kiryu-san, I wanted to meet you a little sooner. I wanted to tell you a little bit. 
見ねえ。Get up and stop him or something? Marka, what the hell? Let me go. 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 Holy shit. I feel like I could have maybe helped a little bit there or grabbed him before that. Happened. Unless the helicopter caught him. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he landed right into the propellers. Oh, my God, Hark is here. What are you, Hark? What are you doing piloting a helicopter? And new daddy's here, too. Kiryu san. Masaka. Tojoka, you're going to get done. Kinda? Yeah. Chiga. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> they definitely didn't bother redoing this scene here. So, 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 Oh, shit. It, oh. I thought, you were, I thought it was Majima. Oh, my God, there he is. Oh. Yeah, my bad. You didn't really play into much, did you, dude? But I'm an asshole. なんでもできるはずだ。お前に信じるものがあって、やり直すつもりがあるなら力を貸せ。そんなことを信じろってのか。Ow. Holy shit. That looks bad. Why is nobody, uh, doing anything? ああ。死ぬ気になるって何でもできるってか。信じる。やり直す。ああ。ふざけんな。お前に教えてやるよ。人間信じまったら信じるところじゃねえんだよ。お前はあんねんだよ。ほら。言ってみろ。信じまうとき
Ow. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. This motherfucker was the one that killed me. Damn it. <gasps> what the fuck? Huh? It just ends there? Excuse me? Wow, that's a fucking sh hell of a cliffhanger. Now, fuck you. There's gonna be some post credit bullshit, all right? post gray horse shit. I don't believe for two sick fucking demon seconds. I gotta go to the bathroom and then there's nowhere to pause this. So I gotta walk away for a second. Oh my god, good timing. <laughs> Holy shit, Mikio, you're not dead. うーん、新しいから緊張してんのかな。こっちこっち。ああ。行くぞい。頭ば。行くぞ。ケン、ケン、ケン。ラスト<笑> <laughs> so they rebuilt the orphanage at least. And motherfucking daddy cure you ain't dead yet, motherfucker. Damn, I was really worried, guys. I really thought he was dead for a second. <laughs> slightly, slightly spoiled by the fact that there's at least like three more games with him. But hey, the bright side, I still got my Quagmire shirt back. Fuck yeah, baby. Finn, I, I guess that's what that says. Decide not to translate that, or maybe that means Sega. All right, how we do? I knocked out 100 pedestrians, 100, broke 100 weapons. This is travel 42 kilometers. Good lord. 10 heat action finishes. Street battles 214. Harkus trust level. Fuck it. B. Who gives a shit? Completion total 98.16%. Not bad if I do say so myself. It only took me 130 fucking hours. It might be actually the most completion I've ever done, though, to be honest. Because even in the other games, I didn't. I probably didn't complete as much as, as I did in this game with like getting all the heat actions and stuff. Holy shit, 2 million yen? Just right off the bat? Cool. A new mode has been added to the main menu. Is that that ultimate match thing? Uh, thank you! Was that Haruka yelling that to me? You will create data that will be used for the newly unlocked post clear mode. This will save all elements, but if you begin a new game using clear using clear data, then elements such as sub story progression will not be saved. It is recommended to create a new save data. Please be aware of this when overriding an existing save. Yes, new save data. Oh, hey! The tile screen song changed. That's cool. Oh, wow. I actually have a bunch of new stuff. Extra. Battle for survival. An extra game mode has been added. You can play this new mode in New Game Plus after clearing the main scenario. Take out the final boss. Start at level one with zero skills and take the streets of Kamurocho, battling your way through random encounters to get to the final boss. The money experience points you earn by the end of the mission will translate into prize money. In addition to the final boss, there are eight other boss characters wandering around Kamurocho. Accumulate experience points and gain levels by beating opponents and bosses. Complete the mission by taking out the final boss. Money experience... You earn by the end of the mission will translate into prize money. After being a regular boss, you'll be given a choice to quit the mission. If you choose to do so, you will receive a prize based on the performance up to that point. Be aware that you can only keep the money earned at this mode, not levels or experience. Think you have what it takes for this challenge. To begin this mission, 
by speaking to the a special character in Premium Adventure. Uh, I want to run uh, to find the character on your map. You can find this character in both Kamurocho and Downtown Ryukyu. Near Purgatory Entrance, uh, pub. Oh, oh, this is, uh, oh, wait, no. Purgatory Entrance? No, that's not. I thought it was going to be Babu Chimoshi, bitch, but I think it's somebody else. This actually sounds like this would be pretty fun if the battle system wasn't so fucking annoying. Uh, survival tag. Escape your pursuer. Oh, God. Escape your pursuer is a complete mission. Take to the Nightmare Streets of Combat for a very special game with a simple rule. It's complete 10 missions without getting caught by any pursuers. If won't catch you. It's game over. <laughs> that's kind of cute. It's a little chase sequence. All star tournament. Everyone's here. That's right. Carriers and Smash now. Da, 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 da. Specifically, the Yaksa 3 version. <laughs> Hawaiian shirt Kiryu's here. Uh, a boss character dream matchup, and also a that consists of hard hitting matches between the game's main characters set at the Coliseum. Who will prove to be the toughest of them all? Wow. This game's got a lot of shit going on, man. A lot of extra content, honestly. All star tag tournament? Oh my god, dude. It just keeps going. Costume change for Kiryu and Rikia. But Rikia's dead! <laughs> New costumes are available for Kiryu and Rikia. These costumes can only be used in Premium Adventure. Costume change for Haruka. Haruka's request. Oh my god, fuck you, no. XSSS has been added to a trust rank for Haruka. This is only available in Premium Adventure. I think that, S that is the one that results in you having to pay like 30 million yen to a homeless guy. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely worthwhile. Want to over I guess. I didn't really do anything, but okay. Um, view previous story events. It's actually cool. I was looking through this before. You can actually even go back and watch the cutscenes from the sub stories, which is pretty neat. It also shows you just how many sub story uh, cutscenes there were in this game. Like, look at this. This is a lot, man. Even these dumb ones with these two. The movie one, which was really funny. This one where they thought he was a fucking hooker. Damn. The, oh my god, this this was amazing. The Phoenix Wright one was amazing. Even it, you guys did point out apparent, and I, I mean I kind of realized too, uh, in just the very first option when I did mess up. There is no real like way of failing it. You know, if you if you pick the wrong one, it'll just be like, oh, I, that's not the right thing, and then let like, you pick the other one, which does kind of suck. And it's a little weird because there are like this sub, this game in particular does seem to have a lot of sub stories where you could just get the bad ending, right? Not complete it. Um, surprised they didn't do that for this one. But I guess they just wanted Kiryu to come to the truth so they could show this cool cutscene of him pointing. Uh, ultimate match. In this game mode, clearly specify battle missions. Earn a ranking depending on how well you clear the mission. Oh my god almighty. Defeat multiple en en enemies under various situations conditions. Defeat all enemies within the time limit. Equipment allowed. Oh, I see. Okay. Each one... I see each row goes to this. Challenge those multiple for this. Go, get from Tenkaichi Street to the Purgatory Entrance. Uh, grading. Oh, grading criteria: damage taken, clear time. Okay, so how quickly you can do it, how much damage you take, clear time, and then ultimate. Which oh, I, I haven't even unlocked yet. Oh my gosh, there's just a lot going on, man. It is kind of impressive. And then there's even New Game Plus. Start a game from the beginning, retain all your abilities, the money, and and money from clear data. Ah, I see. Okay. So I can't actually load the, um, uh, just load it normally. I have to go to premium adventure, load clear data, and then I can hop in. Hey, what's up? Ta hey, take some extra uh, mode items. What does that mean exactly? It's probably better if you didn't ask, bitch. Bitch. Here, have this shit, and this shit, and this shit, and a collapsible hammer, which you can't hold on to. Here's some more shit. How about a fearless binding? You want that? Thanks for those who, do, who understand what it means to be a family man. Okay. Oh, listen now. Can't give you more than one. Rules, rules and shit. I don't know, bitch. Hey, come on. Spit. All right. You must be. What's that? I couldn't hear you. Speak up. Yes, I'm saying. Nope. 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 All right. So just scram. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, here's some more extra bone shit. Look. I know I told you I couldn't give you any more, but here's some more. Wait. You're just giving me the same shit again. Oh, wait. No, this is new. All right. Burger, 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 burger. Oh, I'm still going. You think I, if I was done, you better guess again. I, I don't even, I don't really understand what this all is, but all right. Why didn't I just give it to y'all once? Why can't I just send you straight to your fucking your, your thing here? Oh, hey, a red line dra dagger. I'm not sure if I had that. SWAT body armor. Wow, look at all this shit that would have made uh, crafting new items a lot easier. Wow, we're still going, dude? What the? Oh, my God. Damn, a black shaft. Nice. Steel shin guards. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
I'm not sure this ends now. Modified lighter. Goddess of children amulet. More stamina royales. Just can't get enough of those and those Torner plot pluses and toughness emperors and then the foul two or something different. I don't really get why I'm like, oh, hey, she's a pendant. Do I have this already? I don't know. I think I have one of the she's items. How many other two you can only get in the arena? I really could only get in the arena. I have no idea, man. I don't know why. Okay, I'm getting some different shit. These are like super ones. Sakura Storm. Okay, neat. Payback ring. Unusual ring is fueled by its worst pay, making them stronger the more they're injured. Yeah. You done yet? Nope. I guess it's supposed to be for like accomplishing something. I guess. It said the extra modes. Oh. What? He just straight gives me the rage armor? Are you serious? You could get this in the arena, but it was insanely hard. He just straight gives it to me. So now I've, I can actually equip all the rage items. Which, by the way, I decided to look up what it did. Despite what it's saying, it makes you like, if you equip all of them, it makes it like really strong. It doesn't actually increase your attack power, but it, what it does give you is super armor. So you can basically combo, as long as you're attacking, no one can break you out of it, which is still pretty good. But I was kind of thought it was going to be like, you equip all these and it just like gives you like stupidly high attack power. I don't know, maybe this is like for the completion stuff? I, I have no idea. Or it's just, I, just don't, I don't understand why it's giving it to me so much. Why is it just giving it to me all at once? Oh my god, gauntlets. Let me fill up my fucking uh, item box here at this rate. Never going to end. More cheat shit. Old bell. Some of this, the, uh, the sound of this old rusty bell saddens me. What the hell is this? I I, I don't know what that one is. Now give me a shotgun, some, some cooking oil, a balloon. Man, Bob, you just got everything. Are you like, give me like one of every item in this fucking game? Oh my God, you're done. Holy shit. I don't know what, what prompted that, but it was slightly overkill, Bob. Damn, I didn't actually get to all the, the max levels in this game. I still need 10 more to get one more level and then I still have one more after that. Damn. This game really shorthands you on the fucking experience, even after doing every sub-story. That's, that's surprising. Just kind of curious to see what, who's the guy at the entrance of the purgatory they were bringing up. This guy? Oh. <gasps> My god, it's the fortune teller. Hello, Kiryu. Welcome, sir, to X Tiger, the house of extras. House of extras? What's that? Location where someone someone from your world may exist in this one. So what can I, can I do here? I can offer you special game modes you'll only find here. They are as follows. Ooh, look at all the goodies. Cool. Leave now? God damn it! What the hell? What's the point of me being here? Nothing. No point at all. I'm gonna come out here and play with Mac now. Yay! Get you, John's here. Yay! <laughs> change! Oh, hey, what can I change into? Uh, outside of a few instances, the chosen costume will be displayed regardless of location or situation. Oh! Certain locations and situations of Karamurcho and downtown Ryukyu will change your costume automatically. <gasps> oh my god! Yes, I can be the wrestler guy! Awesome! I can just walk around naked! Hawaiian me! Neat. I see. So if I go to Okinawa, I'll probably jump into my Hawaiian shirt. So, what do we get? So regular, I guess, actually, this is Haruka from the beginning of the game. Haruka from Okinawa. Or, yeah. Oh, wait. No, this, I, guess this is, I guess this was new, because this is the original one. And B-Side Haruka, which I don't think was even in the game. Cute. We got Rikia with the blazer on. Regular Rikia, shortless Rikia, wrestler Rikia. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But unfortunately, what, what does it matter? Is Rikia alive in this? Does premium mode resurrect him? I guess it must. Where the fuck is he? Is he in Okinawa with the, the kids or something? He's just hanging out? It's fine. He never died. He's, he's completely fine, guys. Yep. Back to Okinawa and I'm in my wine shirt. Cool. What the hell, Ricky? You're alive! And Doggy's here and Doghouse has been rebuilt and doesn't have Mario's giblets on it. Oh. Now, this is my, uh, my favorite swarm brother. I've been living up downtown, I hope. By the way, let me know if you want to replay the main story with your car. <laughs> what? Oh, no. No, they're not real. They're just here to break the immersion and tell me how to play random gameplay modes. No. Fuck you, premium adventure. It's not real. It's all a dream. <laughs> I'm back inside that dumb machine made by that old man again. <laughs> yes, Kerry, that's right. Forget all your sadness in my VR game. I have... Eight. <laughs> no, let me out. Let me out. Let me out for you. Take advantage of this option. Allow you to create clear data carrying over your play data from Premium Adventure. 
caution this differs from an, an ordinary game save starting new game plus with the data created here will only allow you to transfer your abilities uh, items and money to just select yes will end premium venture return you to the title screen what what the hell so i could just is this like the same thing i'll transfer all elements wait starting premium venture will clear with clear data will allow you to transfer all elements from your story including inventory su oh sub stories finished and more oh no I'm, I'm good that's okay hey look aniki i'm not dead come on somebody aniki yeah i come with you as long as uh <laughs> as, long, as long as your body guy if you want by the way i'm not i'm actually a ghost we're, we're gonna still go do stuff you know if, just in case you want to do any of those sub stories you couldn't do before no thanks go back to being dead rick yeah okay ah it's kind of cold aniki don't say it like that don't make me feel any worse than i already do Wait, is she gonna talk now? Oh, Uncle Carrie, she is. We kind of tired. Maybe she'll lie down till tomorrow morning. That does not count nice. Yes, rest until morning. I would like to see what the daytime looks like. Ta da! What's he saying? Go to Uncle Cuz? Looks like, yeah. I wanna go too. No! <laughs> I'm not doing this. Not this game. You're a meanie. Shut up. I'm not doing your stupid bullshit. I'm not gonna give 30 million yen to some random homeless guy. I finished this game. I got 2 million and at the end of the game and it's still nowhere near enough i need five times the amount i have okay this is just not gonna happen and for what literally what i'll tell you what fucking dick uh the kids here anywhere <laughs> do they just like disappear disappear into the cosmos ah it is pretty here at least well all right guys uh i think with this we are at last finished with yakuza 3. ah <sighs> i guess my final thoughts on the game i thought it was great I, I really enjoyed it. I did. Um, I thought the change of setting in particular, the just coming to Okinawa, went a long way to helping like uh, make the game feel fresh again. You know, just having even just like this locale, even though it's not honestly all that big, especially when compared to Kamurocho, just having this beach vista, you know, the, the orphanage itself with the beach down in the front, as well as the little town of Okinawa with all of its little shops and stuff i don't know it's so quaint and cute and it was uh it was fun you know i i just i liked that it's amazing what just a little change in scenery can can do for a game it's why it was a little rough sometimes when going back to like like for example kwami one where we just had kamarocha right but we just got done playing yakuza zero where we had kamarocha and sotenbori i mean granted we did eventually go back to sotenbori again but and kwami too but you know, it's like, it, it was nice having something else to go against the usual fare of Kamurocha. Because by this point, God, we've seen Kamurocha a bajillion times. I really enjoyed the new characters that were introduced here. Uh, including the the uh, friendly Yakuza that I actually met here in town. As well as the, the new antagonist. Mini was great. I thought it was awesome. I was actually kind of saddened to see that he just kind of went out in that blaze of glory there at the end. I mean, I do feel like I could have probably done something to stop him. But, you know, Yakuza gotta be super dramatic about their fucking deaths here. No, I can't have this guy live to see the next game. Nope, nope, nope. Can't allow that. Motherfuckers. I was I was actually really hoping that I don't know. It, it would be really nice if like one of these like antagonists could live for the next game, you know? Just like have him actually come back again and as like a reformed dude, you know? I kind of wish they didn't always have to die at the end. But I did like the story itself, uh, for the most part. Like the I I feel like all the pieces and everything were here, right? To, and that made a great Yakuza story. And I think for the most part, it manages to pull it off. However, the way it tells the story definitely could have used another once over. I've heard you guys said, and I don't know if it's true technically, but some said that it was like the, this game was made using just the first draft of the story because they were in such a rush to get this game out because apparently Sega wanted them to do a Yakuza game like every year. Um, and if that is true, then... I mean, it is honestly impressive that the story is even as good as it is, but also at the same time, it w does explain some stuff because I think that having the, like I said, exposition man, politician guy come out, even if he's voiced by an amazing voice actor, it still is just a guy sitting there explaining the plot to you. I do think the the way they handled Mini was really cool, actually, and I liked his 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 motivations. I know at the end, he sort of explained everything to us, right? Like also kind of in a exposition fashion, but that's actually also not very unusual for Yakuza is like at the very end like you don't fully understand everything until your final fight with the boss with the, the boss at the end right where then that's when they explain everything a lot at least a lot of times they do um so I didn't mind it too too much and I think because the they sort of built it up to to twist 
our expectations a little bit, right? You think it, he's trying to just kill off uh, Daigo and take over the clan, even though you clearly see for some reason he still cares about him. So you're like, what the fuck's going on? And then when he explains to you, you're like, oh, and it's and it was satisfying in an in, a very interesting antagonist motivation, you know? Um, I liked that a lot. And as always, the voice acting was fucking great, right? The voice acting in this game is phenomenal, especially freaking carry you during Rikia's scene. Ricky in general is just fantastic. His his voice actor was so good and he's such a, he was such a lovable character. I'm still pissed at the game though, right? I'm still pissed at the game for like basically crafting this really lovable sidekick character even more so I think than even Shinji and robbing us of him by the end of the game. I I really hope this game stop. I really hope this game series stops doing that or like at least pulls it back in some ways. I mean like just start to get some more characters that like don't just die. I mean, on the bright side, there still are uh, the the old man we saw back at the house. I think he's, he's still alive. Mario survived. Um, the little girl that was not able to talk and now talk again. She's not dead. Though, honestly, I don't know if any of those characters are going to show up in later games at all. Um, I hope they do. Daigo's still alive, which is good. Although Daigo really did not contribute a lot to the story. <laughs> he was kind of just a plot device, really, to and a dead body. Until the very end where he pulled out a gun and just straight shot some dudes. But we did end up losing Kashiwagi on this game, which does kind of suck. But uh, I will say Kashiwagi is probably one of the longest surviving characters in this series. It was one of the longest surviving characters. Like, he was around for a while, so I can't exactly say that his wasn't coming up, because it seems like at some point everyone's gonna fucking die in this game. Literally, everyone's gonna die. Including Haruka. She's gonna go out in the biggest blaze of glory ever. She kill like 3,000 dudes in her in her wake before she goes out. A true bamf. And then it'll just be me, all by my lonesome, playing UFO catcher for hours, just trying at the last completion point. But yeah, overall, I thought the cast of this game was really quite good, and that the writing, despite being a bit uneven, and again, having some real uh, storytelling problems, I think all the parts that were there, and the motivations of characters, and things like that, were still told well enough to where it was still really engaging all the way to the end. And so much phenomenal acting from everybody else that really just helps to sell it. Um, I think the easily the weakest part of this game, though, the weakest part is gotta be the gameplay. And it's not even actually the fact, like, how you fight because really, how we're fighting is not that much different from the other games, right? Like, our moves and what we can do. I mean, we got some new stuff. But I did like that my Kamaki Perry, uh, I finally got the ultimate move that was hinted at in earlier games. As well as a whole bunch of other moves. I mean, the heat axes definitely weren't as impactful, but there were definitely some cool ones in there. Like, there's some super sick ones. But, it's really more the, the uh, behavior of the enemies that are the problem in this game the fact that they just block everything and it just what it just leads to is just being this really unsatisfying feeling of like fuck dude, i just can't hit anybody I like, which leads to me having to grab them or counter them you know try to get behind them sometimes it gets them in full combo sometimes they'll just just immediately turn around when you hit like for example remember i was, seeing, I was trying to do that for like some of the bosses where i get behind them my square attacks would hit them. The moment I'd actually try to do a finisher, hit triangle, they'd immediately turn around and block it. It was such a fucking coin toss whether it would work or not. For what I've heard from you guys, I think this is the only game in the series that does this. I think from this point forward, it's going to probably become more like what we're used to. At least that's my hope. Um, I wouldn't say the gameplay was, like, god-awful. Like, it's not like, man, it's just, it's so, like, broken and busted. It wasn't. It's not busted. It, they designed it this way. They thought this was going to be lead to the the, mo the most engaging challenge here, um, but clearly they realized that is not the case, right? It, people who play this game just, I mean, that's what I've heard from people is that they just, the battle system is so fucking annoying because of how, how much the characters guard, you know? It's not fun that way. You want to be able to hit characters with your moves. And being nerfed in boss fights really just doesn't feel good. So it's something that I'm glad they're going to fix for later games. And it, it, I mean, it wasn't something I wasn't like prepared for, honestly. You know, I, it's kind of like how it was when I played near Gestalt for the first time where I like, I kind of went in knowing, okay, the gameplay is going to be slightly compromised here, you know, especially coming off near Automata. But fortunately, I think the rest of the game was, was good enough to the point where it, it didn't bog me down too, too much, except for I'm trying to get like the Coliseum points and stuff. But, but even then I still like find some weird kind of like moments of Zen when I'm trying to complete some stuff in some of these games, you know? 
Like, I just, like, listen to a live stream or a podcast or something while just beating dudes up in the arena. And, I mean, it's, like, it gets mind-numbing, but at the same time, like, at the, you know, at that point, I was actually really trying to keep it on Bernie and make sure she's doing well. Which, by the way, she's doing great. She's, she actually just went to the, the neurologist for the second time, and they checked her up, and they seem to think she's doing a lot better. So, we're giving her a clean bill of health. So, I'm just going to now finish up the medication I was giving her. And, uh, they said give her at least another two more weeks of, like, low activity. And uh, should be good. No, I, they they said only you know call and schedule another appointment if there's any more problems. But otherwise, should be good to go. So yay. <laughs> so I will say that the some of the completion stuff did give me something you know relative that didn't require too much thought or too much attention. Something to do, and also keep an eye on Bernie's. So in that way, I do sort of appreciate it at least at that moment. But at the same time, I still would prefer a game that had a bit more depth and less annoying mechanics to its battle system and overall i think the the um hd remaster in this game it's looked pretty good like i mean this is some intense bloom going on here with this water but it still looks good i really like the the tropical nature of okinawa um Kiri looks pretty good though i still like i you know he he's still he's a lot beefier in this game and uh than he is in like you know, Yakuza Zero or like the, the Kiwami games either, where he, he's, they sort of slim him down a little bit in this little goofy run and the sound of his feet and stuff. But but overall, it still looks pretty good. You know, I got used to it pretty quickly. Just honestly, increasing the resolution and improving some textures, but clearly not all textures, uh, did help to de-age the game a little bit. Oh, and I will say just small side, but the lack of uh, arcade games, like Sega arcade games in this game, does kind of suck a little bit. I, I do wish that uh, they had some like I don't know, other stuff, even outrunning. Even it's just the shit that we've already seen a bunch of times at this point. I mean, I thought Boxelius was kind of neat, but there's only one, really, right? And UFO Catcher, and that's it. Uh, unless you count, like, darts and bowling and, you know, pool, but that's kind of something separate. Oh, and of course, I got to bring up, of course, the sub-stories in this game, which I think there there's so many in this game, right? The, 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 I think that's the biggest thing of this game is that there is a very clear imbalance between the side content and the main story. This game has an absolute shit ton of side content and it boggles the main story like i would say at least 80 percent of this game is side content which yakuza games do normally have a bit more side content than the main content i'd say normally it's probably like more like 60 40 you know this game really just felt like holy shit the it just dwarfs it but the fact that this game also has the most sub stories of any of the games i believe unless later games also get this many but i think you guys said that this is actually the most of any game ever even the later ones don't get as many as this game. And I think for as many sub stories as there were, I was actually expecting this to be a complete like shit show because I was like, oh my God, there's gotta be so many garbage ones in there. And there definitely were a fair amount, but I was surprised by the number of really good ones and like some other really, really good ones that were in there that were like, damn, this is fantastic. This feels like, you know, something that a really recent Yaksa game would come up with. I wasn't expecting for basically an HD remaster of a game from two generations ago, you know? Like, there's some really good shit in there. But it was bounced out by also a shit ton of uh, scam missions and a fair amount of just kind of pointless garbage ones. And I, I still, I think that, I'm always going to remember that one, man. I, I don't think that one's ever going to leave me now. It's that one where I literally, I was getting nauseous from something not related, but it was appropriate where just like i come up to some guy he's like hey check out this thing okay I, I i tricked you i don't have a thing now die ah damn it you beat me i'm gonna change my ways here's the money bye if you took all the fluff out of any of these scam sub stories that, that was what you were left with just that bare bones piece of shit the last like 10 seconds but yeah i mean i thought overall they were still the majority of them were still pretty good i would say uh over half of them at least were were good you know at least good to very good and then the rest went from meh to ugh. I would definitely prefer more quality than quantity here, but I will say the quality of the quantity here was at least impressive to an extent. But I can't help but feel like I, I do wish that a little bit of the, the time they put into the sub stories was put instead to some of the main story stuff to help flesh things out and make things progress more nat naturally, you know, where we learn things through like our own, I don't know, our, our own investigation as opposed to the game just telling us what's happening. Events would happen in a more orga organic way. Given the circumstances, it's still impressive. And I still say I've really enjoyed this game, you know? Too many likable characters, still too many fun sub stories. Too much fun shooting dudes in the face with my golden gun <laughs> and, and tiger dropping fools. Yeah, I really like this game. 
I would say if I had to rank this game with the other ones, I'd still say my favorite is still Yakuza 0. Yakuza 0 is just, it was just so good, man. And it was clear that by that point, they sort of gotten, you know, the Yakuza series kind of down pat, like how, how to sort of write a good story and to divvy up its gameplay. And we even had, you know, mod mods when we control that game too. It's just everything about that game was just so fucking good. Then I would say probably Kwame 2 would be my next one. Then I would say Yakuza 3. And then I would say Yakuza 1. I think Yakuza 1, uh, Kwame 1 was still probably my least favorite. Well, I would say this game actually had more scam sub stories than this one. Uh, I think the percentage of better ones was higher. Although the percentage of the Kwame 1 ones was, I mean, there were less of them. But there were so many scam ones and a lot of them and other ones that were just not that great. And there was only like a handful that were like really decent, you know? And a few of them were ones they added just for Kiwami. Not that, again, it was an awful game, but if I had to rank them, that's probably how I'd do it. I don't know if I'd include Judgment in this list at all, because Judgment's so different and it's following a completely different protagonist, if it does have similar, you know, sub-stories and stuff. So, so I think it's kind of like its own separate thing at this point. But if I had to, had to rate it, I probably would say I think I like Judgment more than Yakuza 3, but I don't know if I liked it as much as Kiwami 2. I don't know. The Kai and Gang thing from Judgment really brought that game down for me. If that wasn't in there, I'd probably rate it a lot higher, but that Kai and shit really, like, got to me after a while. Which is why I hope to God that when Judgment 2 comes out in, I think, September or August or whatever, God, I hope they don't bring that back. But yeah, guys, uh, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this game, and I hope that you guys uh, did as well. It's always good back to come back to cure you. I feel like... You know, coming back to a Yakuza game is like, you know, putting on that pair of socks you've had for years. They're just like, ah, you know, they just fit just right. Going back to our best boy, I get to pull up my Curio voice for an extended period, which is always fun, and get into a whole bunch of shenanigans and crazy dramatic stories, and it's just always a good time, you know? But yeah, like always, I'm obviously not going to be hopping right into Yakuza 4. Uh, it's probably going to be a, a bit before then, because honestly, I think the next game I will likely hop into that's Yakuza-esque in nature is probably going to be Judgment 2, which is actually called Lost Judgment. And fortunately, we do at least have a few months before that game gets released. That'll give me some time to sort of uh, recuperate. <laughs> you know, so you sort of have to take some time off between these games. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll probably get into that. And then after that one ends up getting beaten, we'll probably get into Yakuza 4. So it might be a little bit sort for security again, but I do look forward to seeing what uh, other crazy adventures he gets into. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already to become a picky penguin. On board the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. I don't know if I'm going to be hopping right into a, uh, a new series right away or if I have any, like, one-offs I want to do. I technically had... I did want to do a anniversary vid, uh, my nine-year anniversary vid for YouTube, um, but I'm now actually over two months behind. <laughs> It was, it was actually back in March, uh, March 14th or March 12th. That is my anniversary. Actually, yeah, I think it's March 12th. And uh, we are currently uh, well into May at this point. So I might, I don't know. I might skip it this year, which would kind of sucks. I haven't missed a year up to this point, but I, I don't know. It just seemed kind of ridiculous at this point. So I'm like, we're already technically two months into this, uh, this next year. Um, I don't know. We'll see. There's potentially also maybe another one-off I'd want to do. I, I I don't know. We'll uh, I gonna have to play it by ear. I feel like I've sort of been so slow on some of these uploads lately that I I don't know. I don't want to like keep you guys waiting too too long. I feel like I sort of want to try to get back to where I was with a more consistent schedule. But um, I'll uh, I'll let you guys know and uh, what I decide to do. But look forward to a new series starting sometime pretty soon. And uh, as always, picky penguins. Till next time, guys. Stay classy.